But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Yo, what's up, me, my dudes? Like, we're a little bit early. I'm just trying to get it all set up. A hero's just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. There we go, and I think we're live on Twitch as well. Yes, yeah, so you guys get to see my ugly face. Now it's your turn. If I don't reply straight away, it's literally just because I'm setting stuff up. It's like 15 minutes until the proper one starts, so we're just kind of giving it 15 minutes to get everyone in and get the stream set up properly, make sure everything's working properly. So yeah. You're not ugly. You sweet talk at you. You always wondered what I look like. Everyone always wonders what I look like, I don't know why. Just, just a normal dude. えっと、今日は皆さんに僕らが作っている新しいグランツーリスモの情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情報を情
yeah, I need to kind of keep an eye on comments on both. Hello, mute. How many people we got in here? A hundred people. That's crazy. What's my microphone? A big shiny white one. Um, it's uh, Blue Ice. Uh, Blue Ice Snowball, I think it's called. What are you guys hoping for today? Ooh, this message has been held for review. That's never a good sign, Nick. I didn't reply to your mail. I never reply to mail. If people want to chat to me, they need to join me on stream. Four guys lags a lot. It does, yeah. It also kicks you out when you're on the last the last round and you know you're going to win. Hello, me M&Ms. No, like I'm streaming on YouTube as well, Emma, so... If it sounds like I'm talking a lot to no one, it's because people are commenting over there as well. And Danny's following me as well, looking at my ugly face. But yeah, Fall Guys, really good game. It just don't work at the minute. Which is pretty damn awful. Love the Twitch better. Me too. Someone had to, I know. Yeah, I like Twitch better than YouTube for streaming. Um, obviously, YouTube for videos. Just because it's more interactive. You guys can spend, like, your Twitch points and stuff. Same as any of you guys from Twitch. You should know the PlayStation channel. Any of you guys that are watching on YouTube, make sure you follow over on Twitch as well. You get to see my face more often. First time I've seen what you look like. I don't go on cam that much. I, thought we was trying to get out of this I tend to sit like in my boxers, playing nice and comfy. And today I thought I'd put pants on, so yeah. I hope they're good games. It should be. Oh, I think something's starting. Things are changing, things are happening. What's going on? Oh, there you go. Right. Let me swap over. Do hang on. And cancel that off. We can jump on air now. Things are happening. And that means I need to put my headphones in so I can actually hear it. They don't want to wear a massive headset with a hat just because I look I look like a tool. So yeah, we we go in incognito with a little earphones in. And we're drinking some controversial beer as well. That I, I will not say the name of. On 2020, quite possibly, yeah. Because of obviously the PlayStation stuff and they've got the rights and they get everything first, I'm expecting it. And GTA 5 update, no. I don't think we'll hear anything on GTA 5 just because it's more um, PS5. I really think there will be. Uh, COD 2020 again, yeah, I'm expecting it today. It's popping, I know. We've got 15 of you guys watching over on Twitch, and we've got... How many people watching? 80 watching at the minute. I'm expecting everyone to jump in in like 7 minutes time. So, you, you guys are in for a couple of treats. Um, here's a present for you. Have an advert. Just while we're waiting. You guys on YouTube, you you don't get that advert. That's, that's just for the Twitch people. Or, or can I give you guys an advert so you don't have to sit here and watch the PlayStation logo spin around like a maniac? PS Plus Central likes Fosters. No. I, I will show you the controversial beer. As you can see, it, it's... Um, it's it's something that we're not allowed to talk about. The Corona. And yes, I, I am using a can opener to open my Corona because, funny enough, I lost my bottle opener. Usually I spill my beer all over myself. Quite quite pleased that the first time I put face cam on in a while, I didn't. That would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yeah, stuck in the bottle. That comes free with it. GTA San Andreas for PS5. It's more with the story mode. I think we just get an extra bit of story. 
Final Fantasy 16 and PS5 exclusive. You never know. Where's the Wi-Fi? Yep, there's there's no decent things to spend your points on today because I'm streaming over on YouTube as well. So yeah, we can't be crunching down mics. We can't be making my wife scream and get angry. We have to be a little bit more professional, even though we are still drinking beer. You switch to Twitch. Don't worry about it. We're talking to everyone. I've got everyone's comments open, but they kind of fly up. Turn R rated. Um, I don't actually know how to turn all that stuff off. One minute. Advanced settings. There we go. I'm guessing that's where it'll be. Uh, enable age restrictions. It is not on. Yes, I sit with my mouth open while I'm concentrating. I look weird, don't I? Uh, they're not going to announce the pre-orders. I think it's literally just new PSVR games that will be for PS5 as well. Uh, no, they've said they're not doing any announcements. What is the price reveal for the PS5? But well, obviously it's not happening at the moment. The only beer you drink, see, I like lager, but I can only drink Peroni, Perona, and Desperados, weird enough. Foster's, Carlin, Carlsberg, yeah. even Budweiser, I can't drink it. The Warrior, thank you for following over on Twitch. I was saying, yes, you're looking weird. Yeah, when I concentrate, my mouth just slowly opens and just sits there. But we've only got four minutes of staring at my face. Like, literally, because there's nothing on, I just feel you're watching me. Don't reset permissions. I haven't. I was just looking what it was. I haven't changed anything. Uh, what is this? It's my face. As soon as the pre-order opens for the PS5, I need to pre-order too. What's my favourite game being released this year? Uh, Fall Guys, if the servers worked. Apart from that, I always, whenever a game comes out, I always play it for a week and get bored of it, and then go back to it a year later and love it. At the moment, it's Sea of Thieves, which, yes, I know it isn't PlayStation, but you never know. Imagine if it was teased today that Sea of Thieves is coming to PlayStation. We're no strangers to love. King Gamer, cheers for the follow, dude. It's your first time swinging by. Well, welcome, my dude. Uh, apparently, no, they've not put a cap on pre-orders. Apparently, they're making sure there's enough so it never gets to the point where if you don't pre-order it on day one, you can't just go out and buy it on the day. They're supposed to be making that many that even if you don't pre-order, you should be able to get your hands on one. I think it's just going to be more bun bundles and possibly games that you might struggle for. Dude, I never stop drinking Corona. It's just an awkward time. You, you feel a little bit weird walking into a shop and feel like you have to hide the label. More like a, a goggle box tonight, innit? You're watching my face, watching a stream. Hello. Ada Aslan. Hello. Uh, a console and a square, possibly. PS5 is one per household. Not if you order it, and then you get your wife to go in and pre-order it, and then you just pay on the same card on the same day. They never know. You don't drink. I always drink. I'll drink enough for both of us, Charles. Nah, I like chilling out at night and having a few beers. I'm usually a whiskey drinker, though. Right, I've got Restream playing in the background for some reason. That's not probably the best idea. Chatbox widget. Sorry, I'm going to have to close you as well. 
There we go. Yeah, if I don't reply to everyone, I apologize. It's why the Twitch points aren't on today, because I'm swapping between kind of YouTube comments and Twitch comments. See, weirdly enough, I know a lot of people that follow me on YouTube always hate the fact that I also play on Xbox. But the thing is, I play on both, so I have to pre-order a PS5 and the new Xbox. And yeah, it's just the exclusive. I like the exclusives on both. I've got mates that play on both, so I have to play on both, otherwise I just end up leaving people. Imagine Red Dead Redemption 2 on PS5. It's pretty much confirmed it's going to happen. Nothing's been said, but if they're doing it for GTA 5, which came out first, they've got to do it for Red Dead, aren't they? Pray Goodale's going to end up getting a mute. Um, Last of Us, probably. Yeah, I like the idea of the walking simulator, otherwise known as Death Stranding. Oh, we're starting. Nope, they've still got it on rest mode. There we go. All right, let me turn up. Hang on, the sound should be okay, actually. There we go. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains, Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy have finally I liked escaped Crash Bandicoot when I were a kid, but just completely grew out of it. Hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. It looks that old school as well, though, doesn't it? game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans as well as new players to this amazing franchise. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated Yeah, I'm wondering if everything that that's on today is also going to be available on PS5. Also bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. Throughout Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas. New like the ad said, the more concentrating PS4 and PSVR, so. And with all of that also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the hey, ability dude. to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original yeah, trilogy, wall was okay. specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments well. in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout That's the game. That's pretty cool. These skins are totally cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the, fact the he's crazy got no challenges micro that we'll as the well makes it decent. Whether it's, it's not the sort of game Ica, that gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button. Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around you. It looks cool. It's just old or school, isn't it? Lowly, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano, but that's going to have to wait for another day. What we can tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. You know all the girls out there are going to play Coco. You can also play as Coco. It was also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the story this time as well. 
But that's not all. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives and new gameplay. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neocortex. He's all about using his blaster to change That's pretty cool. his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through Crates' oh, nice. Dingo Dial. I repeat, you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. Now, a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower cool. rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. I always get too Dingo, stuck though, and I always us, get stuck on a level on these kind of games that I just never seem to get past. Beloved diner, what did you miss? Nothing. This is the first game so far. Finally, there's one more surprise I'm incredibly oh my excited God, that looks to show awesome. you today. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials That's or bit trippy though, not gonna lie. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. It's our souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not only are perspective shifted, but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique I love art style, the art style that really change. changes the look and feel of the experience. Just the art style One alone could be makes me want to play even more. A neon wasteland, Especially that bit. players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path forward. We've even got one that feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera speed increasing nice. the actual speed of gameplay as well. Once unlocked, players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists out there, a reason to revisit. Everyone watching each though, out of 10, what would you give it looks like? New and wise. exciting experiences in store for them. The new art styles and stuff, I'd, I'd say so 8 out of 10. So that's some of the 10. new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Experience the space and time. Whiskey and VR gets October dangerous. Second. It does. October 2nd, right? Okay. Today's state of play is loaded with third party updates for PS4 and PSVR and some new PS5, PS5 gameplay, gameplay right? That's what everyone really wants. We open the show with an all new look at Crash 4. It's about time coming to PlayStation 4 on a But it doesn't 2nd. say anything about PS5. Now Hitman 3, right, okay. From IO Interactive. I played the first Hitman, never played the second. With the first, I wasn't keen on the whole episode kind of thing. A proper shiny head, I just want to rub it. Seven out of ten for you, yeah. Besides, this is your big day. PSVR. The oh, Hitman. My art speaks for itself. Well, I have to go. I'll call you when I get back tonight. I'm just gonna be slapping everybody. I played Surgeon Simulator for the first time in VR a bit ago, and I spent about an hour just slapping this dude across the face. Never passed the level, but it was fun. Imagine doing that in VR though when your girlfriend stood in front of you. Like, oh, it's so realistic. And then you finish, take off, she's lying on the floor. January 2021. That is going to be amazing. For a PSVR game, that is, that's going to be beautiful. See, Watch Dogs Legion for me looks, I don't know, a bit too cheesy. Golden eye slappers only. When a game comes on and it doesn't say a name, you guys need to be writing in the comments of a guess. Harry Potter VR, imagine. Maybe the Harry Potter RPG. That'd be cool. Maybe not.
not my style. Battlefield, imagine, this is the new Battlefield. Like looking at it at the start, maybe. We are happy to oh, it's, a it's a new anniversary edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Many areas have been re envisioned to make them more unique, and it's even more like a living painting with brushstrokes animating the world. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel wow. in the original game. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, programming, and visual art. We plan to make it the most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games are made, Braid Anniversary Edition will be a Me really good resource. We hope you'll enjoy the game time. when it comes out early next year. Just because it's not my style. Don't mean it's a bad game, just mean it's not my style of game. is a mythic adventure set on a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from Anything PS5. Anything PS5 straight up piques my interest. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. Erica, I loved it, but I'm not the playing Pathless it five is times. is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter, the hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic it, it movement. It doesn't look like a PS5 game. It doesn't look so like what I unique take on archery. PS5 game to look timing, like, though. Not aiming down sights. This design was critical. Like, obviously, it's it a stream shoot of a stream anyway, fast, so it's, it's not going to look the best. You instantly feel but as skilled as the it doesn't look herself. like a PS5 game. It doesn't look what I expect to look like. Like when PS4 first came out, the first game I played was Killzone, and the graphics of it amazed me. With help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathos. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. I mean, it looks quite repetitive as well. It's Make different sure you though. Pet the eagle to you have keep to pet it, it and in good flying condition. Don't forget to pet your eagle. I'd say five out of ten, personally. Any of you guys watching as well over on YouTube, if you want to see more of me live, make sure you follow over on Twitch. You'll find secrets all over the island if you know where to look. Has a Zelda feel, yeah, and I can see what you mean. Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. You will also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Yeah, I like a puzzle game though. So, I, six out of ten, not five. I like the puzzle aspect of it. The Pathless is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. What's the challenge? I don't know. It feels like quite a chilled out game. Hi, Chris. There's for the host. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. No, I get what you mean. For me, it's just it doesn't feel like a PS5 game. One thing that I personally am expecting today though, with it being PSVR, it was mentioned Stay a while ago about getting PSVR detection. games monthly on PlayStation Plus. 
and it was actually said on the PS blog as well that at some point it was something they were going to look at and I think now would be the time. You won't be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. One bear down. A few more to go. When the obelisks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. Hey, what's happening, my dude? Looks like a Switch game. You know what? I completely agree. It's a 12 bear day. Every day is a 12 bear day. You don't drink 12 beers when you're drinking. What's the point? It's a bit of a cross between a platformer and a puzzle of which. Personally, if it looked better, and I think the comment of it looks like a Switch Roger game kind of did sum it up the spirits to bring um, back Spot to the over on Switch said it looks like a Switch game. And yeah, I, I completely get it. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. We've only scratched the surface. I mean, There's if that's so an indie price, if you know what I mean, if that's like 15 quid, then all right. If, it's, if that's a 60 quid watching. game when it comes out on PS5. You hate indie games. See, some of the best games out there are indie. Next up, let's see what's in store Everyone for loves a bit too. of Spelunky, don't they? Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Spelunky. For Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something like the first one. fans excited and also Again, I think the look players. of these style of games always put me off, but some of them are really fun. It's important fun. we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. Because so no other game became has fans snakes of the game that spit their your friends face. and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer, so that more people can play the game together. And I also wanted to include that feeling of community into Spelunky 2 Save itself to make sure that the game felt welcoming, even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building. Yeah, I think it would be to that I played it on as well, you know. I designed the world of Spelunky yep. 2 to feel much Look more rich, Fall Guys. And dynamic than Fall Spelunky Guys 1. is so popular at the minute, and that's an indie game. Full. Players will be able to explore and interact with it in lots of By new which ways. I mean a smaller title. For example, you'll be able to ride turkeys. <gasps> you can ride turkeys. I want it already. Find hidden passageways. Hidden passageways. And you'll have to choose between branch paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. I mean, if this game went free on, like, result, PlayStation Plus or something, then, yeah, I'd probably play it. For, like, an hour. Even after and many, it'd many probably keep me, playing, it'd it'd probably keep me occupied for a little bit, but it's one of them area. that, after I turned it off, I don't think I'd play it again. In Spelunky 1, runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. Yeah, Minecraft did start as an indie, and it's, like, the so biggest game out there. in Spelunky 2, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Given how amazing I think the fact that you can ride a turkey is, is hard to say this game has sold it. Take it's going to be huge. Secrets. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't Old know. Old school about. Mario vibes, yep. And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players can use to push past the boundaries of what we, as the developers, know about the game. I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. Like riding a turkey. And second, the ones where people shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. Yeah, I think messing around by local co-op might be fun, but... I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. 
They're really what guided my design choices. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept in the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. Um, chances are there will be a new model of PSVR. Out, I want players to experience what we experience. Um, but you don't need a newer model for the new something games. something special there waiting for you to discover it. But it's the equivalent that you can play okay, games with a dual shot, but if you go out there and buy move controllers, you can play the game with it. I'm expecting the same kind journey, of thing. An upgraded one where you can still play it. with the dual shot. Thanks. Or move controllers, or even better, something where you can move your fingers. Uh, when it comes to an upgraded model, possibly wireless, I think that would make it a lot better. Better graphics and stuff on it. September 15th, 2020. And you can ride yourself a turkey. We've got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin. See, Impact. I'm more wanting to see the PSVR games. I love myself a VR game. Hey. To the point, we're actually giving away a VR game Come over on, on Twitter right now. Vacation Simulator. See, I don't mind anime games though. If they're done right. If it's turn-based, I don't like it. Cool. Spelunky, by the way. Five out of ten. If this is turn-based, it'll get a zero. If it's not turn-based, this will be high-rated because it looks good. It looks nice. And who doesn't love looking at anime boobs? I deal in death. If you cannot bring yourself to kill, speak my name. What is A little bit. This disturbing Turn base gets just straight in very. Not her, just anime games in general. But have you watched Reincarnated as a slime? That slime gets some big boobs on his head. As long as it's not turn-based, I'd say 8 out of 10. If it is turn-based, 1 out of 10. Saw that feel, yeah. Yeah, I just don't like turn-based games. I think the only turn-based game I've ever played that I actually liked was Pokemon. That's it. This ambition of yours, what a waste of Stardust. Game, just an old school one. It doesn't look bad though. When it comes to beat em up, though, I, I have got that horrible habit of sticking to what I know. Uh, you've missed one VR game, Hitman 3. Looks all right. Nothing special. Again, just mid-rated. What's this? It's kind of got really weird with gaming, do you not think? Like, back in the day, you used to get these style of games and everyone was in the race to make better looking games, better graphic games, everything looked more realistic, bigger stuff. And as we've got the generations along where we've now finally got the stuff that can handle it, people are going back to making the old school stuff. Who's up for Spider-Man on PS5? Me. Yeah, 
Yeah, mid rated. It's yes, time five to stuff. Talk Come on. Snacks. Let's check out some gameplay footage captured from PS5. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bugsnax. Wow. That's your name. That's what I thought. Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two bit con artist. Don't tell me you actually believe this. I like the character. Nonsense. I swear, if you chase this bug snack story, you're out of a job. You're the We're evolving backwards, exactly. You said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Do me a favor and take my snack trap. Stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Use it to lead the bunger over yonder. In all honesty, though, I think I it's just because the way that gaming's instant. just grown. Like, back in the day, not that many people snacks. played, and now everybody plays. Whether or not they admit it, I'd say at least 80% of people play. Whether or not it's consistent or just jumping on every now and again. Um, I think it's just the amount of people that are playing. Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon for developing games as well. So you've got the, the people out there that are making the huge awesome beautiful looking games but then you've got all the new developers coming in that are making the smaller stuff which some of them are good don't get me wrong but say you do find these bug snacks and make it back alive i just want something that looks like i'm watching a movie where i'm controlling it that's all i want i want a vr game where it's like i'm in a movie Holiday 2020 PS5. That's a good sign that they're not delaying it. There's a lot more in store. Let's start with an update on an eagerly awaited PlayStation okay. VR game. Personally, not a Star Wars fan. But lightsabers in VR, Beat Saber just had me at hello. Cyberpunk VR, imagine. You must stop. Ten out of ten, grumpy woman. Remind you of your girlfriend. Am I gonna tell her? I'm gonna tell her you said that. Love it already. Not a Star Wars fan, but I wanna beat people up with lightsabers. Eight out of ten. If I play it and I like it, nine. August 25th. That is... Oh, we're going to have some fun with that. I keep thinking about starting VR stuff on the channel again, but... I don't know. Whatever you do. On Twitch, it's hard to live stream it, though. Just because I can't answer comments. On YouTube, it's easy. You just record, stick it out there. Interesting. That's out this month as well. That actually looks pretty cool. You follow over on Twitch and stuff. Sometimes I like the games that you have to full on concentrate auto chess. Anyway, other times I like ones where I can just sit there and play on my phone at the same time.
Red Dead Redemption 2 Undead Nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Any excuse to kill some zombies. See, when it comes to indie games, this, even though it's pretty much exactly the kind of same thing, if you know what I mean, the fact that it's different makes me want to play it. Like, a 2D side-scrolling platformer game, there's tons of them out there. But the different aspect of this, I like it. Something so simple, but the way that it's done. Not often I say that. January 2021. It's not often I say it about um, a little indie game like that, but I actually really like the look of it. Yes, five. Now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. We are the forest shadows. Ghosts running silently between the straight, cold lines. Yeah, hey, I would I agree. State. Quiet and down, don't shed a tear. They can't ration, manipulate. There's a wolf in the night and he's talking. They've taken everything from those they claim to protect. Authority and steel will not stop us. We aren't an invading army. We are wraiths. We bypass defenses and strike at the heart. I don't know why, but the trailer kind of reminds me of Thief. Oh, it's completely different, but the vibes. We take back what was stolen. When the hoods fall flat. And the people call us heroes. From the day. What is it though? To others, we are rivals. Yeah, they've added a few new radio stations on GTA. We are all outlaws. See, that looks pretty cool. But some of us. The game, though, the gameplay for it does, to me personally, doesn't look much better than it would on a PS4. Even though it's captured on PS5. Just that little snippet at the end. If they'd have said that was a PS4 game, I wouldn't have thought, oh my god, that looks amazing for it. Temtem, it's Pokemon. This is Pokemon. I play this on PC right now. It's Pokemon. I don't know how they've got away with it. This is Pokemon, but instead of Pokemon, you throw a card. That's the only difference. I made a video on this about a year ago, and everyone commented saying, no, it's not. That's clickbait. That's clickbait. It's not. I, I knew it was coming to console. Granted, it was supposed to come in January, but... It's literally Pokemon. Apart from it's online. You can explore together. You can play together. You can join your mates, go around catching Temtem instead of Pokemon. It's amazing. This game, when I play it on PC, it's always getting updated as well. New monsters get added in, new areas get added in. 9 out of 10 straight away. But they have delayed it. Before we wrap up, let's take a tour. No, it's Digimon. Um, if you played PS5 it, gameplay for this melee uh, focused action mm, epic launch. I was never into holiday. Digimon, but it plays exactly the same as Pokemon apart from it's online. I knew it. Um, it's Pokemon, but with... I don't even know the graphics, I'd say. It's dead washed out graphics, but it's amazing, Temtem. I Hello. love it. My name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director Hello, for Keith. Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. Second bear down. Today, you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. 
please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's Dark Souls next closed generation again. console. Yeah. Please enjoy. But if it's got something different so about it that right makes it unique, what Godfall is. worth it. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat, and robust. You know what? One out of ten until you play it. Systems. Imagine if you could play Pokemon you can online enjoy the with game your mates, pace, playing alone, I mean. or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, air, and fire. Godfall is a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions. Everything that says no waiting for content. No microtransactions on day one. always gets an extra point. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics. What element, and long chat or streamer, what do you mean? Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. Our game is therefore one part gear driven and one part player skill driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find yeah, I test a lot exquisite of weapons with powerful Never allowed loot to talk about them though. but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same you time. You always are in these As a kind result, of games. You should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there are five weapon classes. Oh. The longsword, Possibly. The dual blades. Nope. The pole arm. The nope. two handed warhammer. No. Nope. I'd always go dual blade. Sword. Anything where you can be really, really quick Each is what I always go for. Has their own like, on, when I played Diablo, play styles, I played Demon Hunter. Fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. I like getting in As close. You defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, each Need weapon with their own See, primary like and secondary games. traits. At a later date, we will delve into the weapon classes and how to Moving modify out them a good one if you're looking for a new detail. one. For now, we'll go over the dual blades and the longsword weapon The dual classes. blades, it's just rapid. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. You can perform a combo by executing four consecutive light attacks. The dual blades heavy attack is a spinning blade cyclone. The blade cyclone can also be used as a finisher Sounds like blood at the end combat. of your light attack combo. So what are the signature moves? Dual blades. I just like getting in close. As you close build up charge, and quick. you can also activate inner focus, which is unique to the dual blades, which inflicts massive damage in a short period of time. There's also mortal coil, where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you like pulling a cable. The only thing I'm finding a little bit irritating now, let's switch to the long sword is that it class. makes it sound like a lot of the techniques are, are brand new weapons, to these style of games. Crisp damage, well, it might be to Godfall, but it's already in a lot of other stuff. a lot of elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades, long swords have their own four-hit light attack combo. Then there's the heavy attack finisher, 
which can be used at the end of your light Any attack. Any Jack and combo. Dexter, possibly. There are three signature moves for the longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which Air, cannot water, be interrupted fire, water, earth, and deals um, high damage to multiple fire. nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. Notice there's a white flash after a longsword swing called a timing attack. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. The shield is a core part of Godfall. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. You can perform a light attack after a last second shield block to counter attack with See, the only thing is, it was supposed strike. to be going on for about 40 shield minutes. Is great, not just and it's defense, at the 40 minute mark now. Offense. You can aim and throw your shield. Which will hit and the hour is the only thing targets. that's made me like really, tap, really interested. Button, just as you catch your shield, I'd say Hitman and possibly Star happen. Wars. But I like the thought of Star Wars, but because I'm not a Star Wars fan, I don't ever like it. And of course, you can perform Apart an from that, R3 10, ground finisher all the way. on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. Anyone that looks at it and thinks you don't want to play it, trust me, if you like Pokemon, you'll love it. Imagine Pokemon playing it with your mate, playing it with your mates on the same server and just going out exploring. Same as God of War? Eh, I wouldn't say so. interesting it's just there's a lot of other games out there i think with these with this specific style of game the market's quite saturated with stuff to choose from we hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of god well, cool. running on the playstation 5 we also I mean, want like to thank if it's all the, the first release of this style of game on PS5, it'll do great. December. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community Not for you. on Twitter. See, I don't Facebook, play that style of game, just YouTube. because for me, I, I end up getting bored and just can't tell the difference between them. But if I play like... Um, I can't remember what someone said before, like Darksiders and just the slashing monsters. I just see them all as the same kind of thing. Nothing ever stands out in them. Is that it? That's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed you this peek into the future of PlayStation. Well, it's been See fun. Like, it's the, I think it's actually the first time that I've actually streamed one of these where I've kind of watched it along with you guys. And yeah, it's something that I might do a little bit more often. Like, not that they do conferences every day but if you're watching over on twitch and you kind of only know me from there i also uh, like make content on youtube on ps plus central if you follow me and you're watching from um on youtube you want to see more of me i stream a lot on twitch i stream usually every day about this kind of time really uh, i was going to be streaming tonight but i ended up watching this with you lot instead um but yeah make sure you follow over there if you want to see more from me and i really appreciate you watching and joining along chatting and stuff i always love communicating a great community uh, but cheers watching dudes am i gonna go play something really boring with a couple of mates that you guys really don't want to see but i'll catch you next time and i think i've got a video coming out on youtube tomorrow so i'll see you lot over there